Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. There are new rules coming out of the White House. Uh, you know, you may have been following that Jim Acosta lost his press credential because he didn't give a microphone back to an intern. Um, but a judge ordered that that press credential be returned to Jim Acosta. Uh, on giving back his press credentials, the White House also issued four new rules for White House press conferences. Here they are. One, a journalist called upon to ask a question will ask a single question and then will yield the floor to other journalists. Two, at the discretion of the president or other White House official taking questions, a follow-up question or questions may be permitted and where a follow-up has been allowed and asked, the questioner will then yield the floor. Three, yielding the floor includes, when applicable, surrendering the microphone to White House staff for use by the questioner. And then four, which isn't a rule, but rather consequences, failure to abide by any of these rules, just in case you forgot which ones they were, one through three, <laughs> may result in suspension or revocation of the journalist's hard pass. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. Well, I mean, basically they, they say, all right, let's not challenge, uh, let's not challenge Acosta, but let's really get him when he comes back to work, right? And and basically the, the, the one is, uh, Jim Acosta, is the president uh, upset about the way things are going on the border? No. Next, you know, just one word answers to Jim Acosta, and that's the game I think they're playing here. Yeah, that's absolutely the game yeah. they're playing. It is so, like, I've watched so many press con White House press conferences because we did a segment, which you should go back and watch, called Honest Answers, uh, If the White House Told the Truth, and where I just watched it. Yeah. First of all, the microphone thing. There isn't a microphone in the White House press room. All those Sarah Sanders ones you see, there are no microphones. So there's no microphone yielding. The only time there is a microphone to yield or not yield is literally in this uh, Jim Acosta video that started it all. So it's a weird thing yeah. that one third of your rules apply to something that happens one thirtieth of the time. Um, and, and also, one, one other thing, because I've now spent a good deal of time in that press room for these Sarah Sanders press conferences and others. So what happens is you'll see two reporters say, or Lena just say, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to, you know, mm -hmm. like that. So there's this sort of, you know, I'm going to ask this question, not necessarily about the subject or what the question is, but then it's, I'm going to ask one more on top of that, and then I'll get to you. You know, that, so they, they work together to get what the information they need. And in my experience watching it, I notice that people, when they follow up after, say, let's say you ask a question, I noticed that if your follow-up is a stupid follow-up, yeah. then the next person in line will start asking their question. Yeah. But if your follow-up fits with exactly sure. what journalists are sent there and seek to do, then I'll wait. Right. And that happens. These problems that they're saying are problems are not problems. And there have been previous White House administrations that have played things extraordinarily close to the, jet, the yeah. vest. I'm talking Ari Fleischer, that's his name, Ari? Yeah, Ari Fleischer. Ari Fleischer, yeah. who was a White House press uh, guy for George W. Bush. They answered questions, they didn't give any information. No, no, I mean, they, they were good. And Sarah Sanders isn't necessarily bad, except that she lies a lot more. But, but they would say, that's something I can't talk about, the president, the president has said what the president's gonna say. You know, things like that. That's what people like Larry Speaks and, and Ari Fleischer and, and uh, you know, Mike McCurry, all those people that were in the, the sort of last generation of, of, of uh, press people would do. They would say, hey, uh, you know, the president spoke on this, there's really not much more I can offer. Right. That's how they would get out of it, instead of making up some ramble or politicizing it to a great degree. They all politicize it a little bit, to be fair, but not like the way this woman does. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.